I don't know why it got stopped. So oxygen is this. It has two hundred electrons in the p orbitals. The one oxygen will come here, and from one of its p orbital, it will make a sigma bond with the hydrogen orbital of the C orbital, like this. And obviously, its second p orbital is lying like this. It is containing one electron. The second oxygen will come here. Make a sigma bond in the same way, and the second orbital is lying like this. The third will come, like this. So three oxygens will come and join with the central atom. Now there is one hydrogen. So one hydrogen will come and join with any of the p orbital of the oxygen atom, any of the oxygen. Two are is still not satisfied because they contain unpaired electrons. Now, if you see the excited state of chlorine now, in this case, then you will find that in the d orbitals there are two unpaired electrons present, line like this, line like this. So they will make a sideways overlap, which is called pi bond. So a pi bond will form here. A pi bond will form. So now you can draw this like this. And then the total treatment. Here you will add a line that this pi bond, this pi bond. Is formed by the d orbital of the central atom, Cl atom, and the p orbital of the oxygen atom. That much you have to write in the exam for any molecule you passed. If you think about some molecules, for example, at the F6, if you solve it by this formula, you will get a, a pentagon by lambda geometry in sp 3 d 3 and uh, you have to do the entire treatment and show it. You will find one load pair, and that load pair has to be kept at the equatorial pentagon plane, and rest of the position will be occupied by the chlorine atoms. But one more thing you have to write that XEF6 also exists as a distorted octahedron. XEF6 also exists as distorted octahedron. Even if your uh, theory and formula doesn't uh, speak about it, indicate about it, but truth, but the fact is that in chemistry and experimental science, the fact is that it is found in both the geometries. And uh, the second one also you have to mention that XEF6 is found as a distorted octahedron. And the lone pair is peeping out from one of the faces of the object. So, of course, a lone pair when there is there, it will repel the other bonds, so the octahedron gets distorted. Similarly, in case of CLF3, when you solve, you will get TBP, must be 3D hybridization uh, of the CL atom. But uh, when you place the lone pairs, you have to place the lone pairs at the equatorial position and rest of the position of the fluorine and CL will show it like a T-shaped body. So these are some of the things you saw all these uh, examples which I have written. If you have any doubt you can ask me in the discussion forum. So this much all you are supposed to know about the valence bond treatment and shape and geometry of some simple molecules. So with this I end it and the next time we will be talking about the molecular orbital theory.